welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Delia Avery. Let's jump right into today's show with another segment in our series called Hello Hopkinton Middle School. Advice from high school students to middle school students. I know that my Unite mentors really helped me my freshman year. High school is a great way to meet new people and make new friends. So in high school, um, it really helped us to join clubs and teams so we could meet upperclassmen who kind of taught us the ropes of high school and how to get around. If you feel like you're hanging around people that maybe aren't making the best decisions, um, try to see if you can be a leader and change what they're doing. If not, then find a different group of friends who make the right choices. All right, and now it's time to visit Mr. Rockwood for another Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Since the Boston Marathon is fastly approaching, I thought we'd talk about the starting line, Hopkinton, and the finish line, Boston. Let's start with Hopkinton. In the early 1700s, Samuel Howe, a Hopkinton resident, had over 10 children. One of his sons, Elias, invented the sewing machine. Another son, Peter, was the first schoolmaster in Hopkinton. Peter was also the great-grandfather of three Mormon church leaders, Brigham Young, Willard Richards, and Albert Perry Rockwood. Now let's go on to another fun fact about Hopkinton. In 1818, Joseph Walker invented a method of attaching soles to the bottom of shoes using wooden pegs. He manufactured this and revolutionized the industry. Switching to Boston now. Boston is the home of the first public park. In 1634, the Boston Common was established. Also, Boston is the home of the first public beach. That's in the area, uh, uh, Revere. Boston and Hopkinton are well-renowned for their contributions to U.S. history. Make it a great day, be kind to one another, and enjoy your education. That's cool. Thanks, Mr. Rockwood. Now remember, last week when we announced a brand new feature called Word of the Day, this segment is produced by Mr. Rockwood and is only available on our website, at least when we post it. Our bad. Well, the first segment is now on our site, so check it out and good luck. Next up, we'll spend a minute with a student. Today is Charlotte and Veronica and Maddie. Oh boy. Hi, my name is Charlotte Hudson, and I'm in grade six. Three of my friends are Maddie, Vivi, Kate, and Ariana. That's four, sorry. Um, I'm involved in hockey <laughs> um, and horseback riding. The most favorite school project I have worked on is the Egyptian newspaper project. <laughs> Hi, I'm Veronica, and I'm in grade six, and three of my friends are Maddie, Charlotte, Ariana, and Kate, and I am involved in soccer. And I am basketball. <laughs> and right now my passion in life is Netflix and Grey's Anatomy and <laughs> Netflix. And if I could change one thing in school, I would do a longer, longer lunch, longer lunch, yeah. Something I'm good at is um, soccer, I guess, because I like doing it with my friends. My name is Maddie Hauser. I'm in sixth grade. And these are my friends, <laughs> Kate and Charlotte. I'm involved in basketball and soccer. <laughs> My passion in life is, I don't know, I don't have one yet, I'm in sixth grade. Um, if I can change one thing in school, it would probably be shorter periods. Let's see, something, something I'm good at is Pokemon Go. <laughs> when I'm bored, I, I FaceTime. My friends. <laughs> My favorite movie is Marley and Me because it's sad but also cute. Cut. <laughs> Great. Coming up next, we have Mrs. Norby and friends with an exciting announcement. Hi, everyone. The book fair is coming the week we get back from vacation. It will be here from Tuesday through Thursday, April 25th through the 27th. You're all going to get a chance to visit during one of your social studies classes over those days. I want to get you really pumped up for a bigger and better fair this year with a focus on more great books. We're, all, <laughs> we're also going to have some teacher and student book recommendations as a new feature. 
you'll have an opportunity to not only pick up some summer reading, but to buy a book to read after MCAS testing, which you know we all have to have. So check your email on Tuesday of next week for more details. And remember to bring home the flyer you'll get in homeroom on Tuesday and share it with your parents. And make a note of it now on your calendar so you don't forget to bring some money after vacation. We'll see you then. Thanks. Don't forget to mark your calendars. And speaking of calendars, the coach of the high school golf team is offering beginning students a free clinic tomorrow at the Hopkinton Country Club at 2 p.m. Have fun out there. But right now, it's time for the birthday squirrel. Finally, it's time for Have You Seen This? Here is today's image. Have you seen this? You have until next Wednesday to find it and send us an email. And check us out online at hcam.tv slash hmstv, especially for the new Mr. Rockwood segment. And email us at hmstv at hillers.org with comments and suggestions. For everyone here, thanks for watching and study hard. Welcome to HMSTV oh. in our series. Oh. Oh, middle school. Oh. Hello, middle school. Are you kidding me? A minute with the stone. That's a real, that's a tongue twister name. And send us an email. Oh, there's no period there. Samuel, how 